And we are back with the fifth and the final segments of the GSMC Basketball Podcast presented by the GSMC Sports Network. And in this final segment, we are going to be looking at the games that happened yesterday as well as predicting the games that are going to be going down over the weekend and exactly how many games I can get right. We will see in the future. There are going to be a few games going on on Saturday. There are going to be even more games going on on Sunday. And there's going to be a lot of games going down um, later today at around 7 o'clock, 7.30. That's usually when some of these games tend to start. So we're going to start with the recap first. And I finally got everything right. So cue the Anna from Frozen Disney music. For the first time in forever, I got every single game right. And let's see. So again, the Timberwolves, they ended up playing the Bulls, and they ended up winning. Spurs played the Blazers, and the Spurs ended up winning. And surprise, surprise, the Bucks ended up winning against the Utah Jazz. This is, we'll, we'll start with the Bucks first, because, you know, the Bucks. And right now, they are 2-6. and six. This is the second win of their season. I'm not entirely sure whether or not they're going to win another game. And this win is not all that impressive, because, again, this is against the Utah Jazz, which I think are the worst team in the NBA right now. Damian Lillard, of course, had a masterclass, 20, um, 34 points, 7 assists. Giannis Antetokounmpo, of course, had a masterclass, 31 points, along with 16 rebounds. And just phenomenal game from the both of them. When they play like this, they should win every single game, but that's not been the case. Now, Bobby Portis played really well, 19 points, 7 for 15 from the field. And A.J. Green also played pretty well, 12 points, 4 for 6 from 3. But aside from that, that was all the production that they had. That's all the production they needed to beat the Utah Jazz, of course, because, again, the Jazz, they are one of the worst teams in the entire NBA. Um, No one really played all that well on the Jazz, aside from maybe Jordan Clarkson coming off the bench with 18 points. But aside from that, everyone else played incredibly mediocre. Keontae George, 3 for 11, not all that good. And Laurie Markkinen, also not that good, 3 for 10 with 8 points. Again, he was most likely guarded by Giannis in this game. I was unable to watch all of this game because, again, it wasn't really streaming where I could have access to watching it. So, again, this outcome, this game was a blowout. In fact, all of the games over here were a blowout, honestly. The Spurs ended up beating the Portland Trailblazers 118 to 105. Um, Victor did not really have as dominant of a game as I thought he would have, but the rest of the players played incredibly solid. And Victor, again, 4 for 13, 2 for 6 from 3 with only 12 points. Really inefficient. He needs to stop shooting those threes. I don't know what's up with him. He keeps jacking up those three-pointers, and they're not working. He needs to stop doing that. But I'm not going to tell Victor Wembanyama how to play, obviously. But again, I think that those shots, I mean, with the way that he's hitting them, is rather it's hurting the team a little bit more than it's helping the team. And he's shooting way worse and way less efficient than what he was in his rookie season. But again, you know, he's still improving, so we'll have to see in the future. The rest of the players on the Spurs, though, they played pretty solid. Malachi Branham, he ended with 17 points, 6 for 8. Keldon Johnson, 17 points, 6 for 13. And Stefan Castle played pretty well as well with 14 points, 6 for 11 from the field. And they all produced really well um, in the other stats as well. Jeremy Grant for the Blazers, 21 points. DeAndre Ayton, 21 points and 10 rebounds. But again, just wasn't enough to combat against the Spurs in this matchup. And the Timberwolves, they ended up beating the Bulls 135 to 119. The Timberwolves ended up having Anthony Edwards drop 33 points with 6 assists and 8 rebounds, going 5 for 9 from 3 and 13 for 23 from the field. Very, very impressive. Julius Randle also played pretty solid, 8 for 15 with 22 points. And Rudy Gobert, Rudy Gobert had a pretty good offensive um, scoring with 21 points, 9 for 11 from the field, and as well as getting 9 rebounds. Again, just too much for the Bulls to handle. Kobe White, um, 24 points, 8 assists. There was no... Um, there was no Zach Levine in this matchup, so that also could explain why the Bulls ended up losing. Nikola Vucevic ended with 25 points, and Josh Giddy ended with 13 assists along with 9 points to go with that. And again, just not enough, especially when Josh Giddy is shooting 3 for 12 from the field. But again, that's really all that I have to say with this recap, because all of these games, they went... Basically, as I expected, for the first time in forever, I was able to get all of these games right. But I'm not really going to count it that much because, again, it was only three games. So let's see if we can get the rest of these games right over the weekend. 
Now, in this next matchup, well, in today's matchup, I should say, the Nets go up against the Celtics. Since this is a weekend thing, like, since I'm going to be covering, like, all the games over the weekend, I'm going to try to go through them quick. So, Celtics, they're the better team. I'm going to pick the Celtics against the Nets in this one. Knicks against the Bucks. That should be rather interesting. I expect the Knicks to win in this matchup. I don't think the Bucks are going to be good enough to combat against the Knicks. And the Knicks, they do play at home. We'll see how it goes, but I, I'm picking the Knicks in this matchup. Warriors against the Cavs. Now, this is going to be a really good matchup. For the first time in a while, we get to see a really intense Cavs versus Warriors matchup. We, I'm, I'm sure you guys can get some nostalgia when LeBron was going up against Steph Curry when he was on the Cavs. This was a rivalry I'm picking the Cavs in this matchup. They are still flawless in the season. They are 9-0, and and they're going to be playing at home against the Warriors in this matchup. I'm, I'm, picking, I'm sticking with my gut, and I'm going with the Cavs in this one. Normally, I would go with the Warriors, but, like, you know, and I would probably pick the Warriors to upset. If there was any upset that was going to happen, I would pick the Warriors to bring that upset, but I'm sticking with the Cavs on this one. Next, the Suns going up against the Dallas Mavericks. Now, I believe the Suns, they've already played the Dallas Mavericks before. I could be wrong. I, I, yeah, no, they did. They did play the Dallas Mavericks earlier in the season, and they ended up beating them. I think the Mavericks, they're going to make the adjustments and could beat them, but um, mm, oh, this is going to be tough. Uh, I, I think, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to stick with the Mavericks. I'm going to stick with the Mavericks on this pick. Next, the Lakers, they go up against the 76ers. I'm going to pick the Lakers. There's no Maxi. There's going to be Paul George, but there is also no Joel Embiid. He's not going to play until he gets to play the Knicks. And so I'm going to pick the Lakers in this matchup. Now, I have no idea if Anthony Davis is going to be playing in this, but if he isn't playing, I'm still going to pick the Lakers with this matchup. Next, Pacers against the Hornets. I'm picking the Pacers. They're just the much better team compared to the Hornets, in my opinion. Hawks against the Pistons. I'm going with the Hawks in this matchup, and I, I still don't have any faith in the Pistons. I don't think they're going to win in this matchup. Pelicans against the Magic. I'm going with the Pelicans. Now, again, not entirely sure with Paolo Banchero and his injuries. I don't, I don't think he's going to be playing in this. I also am not sure if Zion's going to be playing in this matchup either, or Brandon Ingram, or even um, CJ, but I'm still going to pick the Pelicans in this matchup. Thunder against Houston, I'm going to pick the Thunder in this matchup. And Wizards against the Grizzlies, I'm going to pick the Grizzlies for this matchup. Heat against the Nuggets, that's going to be really interesting. The Nuggets seem to be on a roll now, so I'm going to go ahead and pick the Nuggets. And I, I just expect a really dominant game coming in from Jokic, and I have faith in Jokic. Blazers against the Timberwolves, I'm going to pick the Timberwolves. And the Clippers against the Kings, I'm actually going to go ahead and pick the Kings with this matchup. The Kings, they play at home, and so far they've been getting really solid production from Sabonis, as well as some solid production coming in from Fox and DeMar DeRozan. And again, Sabonis, very, very underrated this season. Again, um, I didn't see him in the MVP conversation, even though I don't really think they have the team record for it. But given what he was able to do in the last game, I definitely expected him to be in these conversations, but he's not for some reason. Now... The Nets, they go up against the Cavs tomorrow. I expect the Cavs to win this. They both are going to come off of back-to-back -back games. And so, you know, it's going to be rather fair between these two. I expect the Cavs to win, though, especially with that home court advantage that they have. Spurs against the Jazz. I'm picking the Spurs in this matchup, mainly because the Jazz, they are the worst team in the NBA. Hawks against the Bulls. Another team, the Hawks are going back-to-back. And the Bulls, they have a little period of rest. I'm not entirely sure who I would pick for this matchup, honestly. But seeing as Zach Levine wasn't playing in the previous matchup, I don't expect him to be playing in this one, so I'm going to go ahead and pick the Hawks. Again, this is all because I don't know if Zach Levine is going to be playing. Next, Clippers, they're going to go up against the Raptors. I'm going to pick the Clippers in this matchup. And now finally, the Sunday games. Um, Knicks against the Pacers. This time the Pacers play at home. I expect the Knicks to beat these Pacers. I do not like the Pacers. I much prefer the Knicks, so I'm picking them. Next, the Warriors are going to match up against the Thunder. I'm going to go ahead and say that the Thunder are going to end up winning in this matchup. Nuggets against the Mavericks. This one's going to be a pretty close one, but I have my faith in the Mavericks. Um, more faith than I do in Denver, so I'm going to go ahead and pick... 
the Mavericks. The Nuggets are probably going to be favorites in this matchup, depending on the depending on whether or not they're able to win in their previous matchup on Friday, I believe, which is happening today. Whether or not they beat the Heat is going to make determine whether or not they're going to be favorites, but I'm going to pick the Mavericks, mainly because I have a little bit more faith in that team. And then the Raptors, they go up against the Lakers. I'm going to go ahead and pick the Lakers in this matchup. Still not sure if Anthony Davis is going to be healthy for these games, but regardless, I'm picking the Lakers. Then Houston is going to go up against the Pistons. I'm picking Houston in this matchup. Celtics going up against the Bucks on Sunday. I'm going to pick the Celtics to win this matchup, regardless that the Bucks are playing at home. The Wizards, they're going to play the Magic. I'm going to pick the Magic to win in this one. I'm not really that high on the Wizards. Hornets against the 76ers. Again, this is another one where I'm really expecting a... I'm expecting the Hornets to win. Again, they don't have Joel Embiid. So a 76ers team without Joel Embiid is just not a winning team, in my opinion. I don't think they're going to end up winning without him. They might get a good game from Paul George, but I think the Hornets are going to have enough firepower to beat them. Heat against the Timberwolves. I'm going with the Timberwolves in this one. Again, not really that much faith in the Heat, um, especially in the regular season. The playoffs is a completely different story, but not really that um, faithful on the Heat. Next, the Kings going up against the Suns. I'm going to pick the Suns in this matchup, and I just think the Suns, they have a little bit more firepower than the Kings do, especially in the three-point shooting category, so I'm going to pick the Suns. And then finally, the Grizzlies against the Blazers. I'm picking the Grizzlies going up against the Blazers in this matchup, and that's all. Those are all the predictions that I've got, and that's it for the basketball podcast. So let me, oh, we have somebody in the chat, Andre. The Bucks messed up bad, stuck paying two of the worst coaches in the league. Yes, they did. That is, um, it's even worse than I thought, honestly. Like, I, I was expecting them to win a couple more games than what they've already done, but so far they've been losing, and the only real, the only win that they've got was the win in the beginning of the season, which isn't really, doesn't really mean much in hindsight now. And then the next game that they ended up winning was against the Utah Jazz, one of the worst teams in the NBA, arguably the worst team in the NBA. But, you know, what can you do? It's a big reason why there's Giannis trade rumors going around. But that's all that I have on the basketball segment, and this will be the last time I do the basketball podcast. Again, just to remind all of you guys, I'm going to be moving on to talking about sports, which means I get to talk about football, ladies and gentlemen and, you know, any of the other sports that you guys um, would like me to talk about. So that's going to happen on Monday. And with that being said, that is all that I have for this podcast, and that's the end of it. Again, remember to tune into the sports podcast. Again, it's going to be airing exactly the same time that this podcast would normally air, but instead I get to talk about all the other sports. So again, that's all that I have today on this podcast. That's it for the show. Thank you so much for tuning into the GSMC Basketball Podcast presented by the GSMC Sports Network. Your support means a lot to us, so remember to subscribe to the show, leave a positive review. It really does make a difference. We also invite you to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram for more content and updates. As usual, we love to hear what you guys have to say during the show, whether you guys have a hot take, whether you guys have a burning question, or whether you guys have anything that you're dying to share. We are all ears. If you really want your comment and or question to get noticed, then I recommend using Super Chat. Just click on the dollar sign below the chat box and you can send in your comments and or donations that way. If Super Chat's not really your thing, that's fine. You can always use the link displayed below the ticker, gsmcpodcast.net, and you can send in your comments and or donations that way. They really help the show. That's all that I have today on this podcast. Again, I'm going to be moving to sports on Monday which means I will be able to talk about football and the games that are going to happen over the weekend as well as the Monday night game um, eventually. So thank you so much for tuning in to basketball. We'll be moving to sports on Monday. I am your host, Nelson, and as always, take care. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great. I don't want.